going to start with this one. This is from Lon4, I think. Lon4. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, yeah, Lon4. Lon at Lon4. I don't know what his actual training name is, but he's a Japanese player. He posted this on Twitter. It popped up on my feed. So I thought, it's a nice team for us. Interesting for us to start off with. Blastoise has always been allowed in Series 6. And it's, uh, it's a G-Max as well. It's got that crazy G-Max ability with its... Residual damage. We've not seen much of it though, Series 6. So I thought this would be nice. It's got uh, Sir Fetched in there as well. So we'll give this a go. Jamuzu playing uh, Weezing. Galarian form Weezing. His green moustache. Uh, Crocodile, Barrascuda, Tangroth, Duraludon, and Inteleon. Hmm. Now, what are we going to do here? It's not mana talent. It is scarfed, so we can do some damage. Can we get rid of something? Can we make use of it in this match? I mean, it, we may be able to. I think Blastoise isn't bad. And uh, Comfy, of course. Comfy. I'd prefer Comfy to have the... Um... <clears throat> I think we need... Oh, do we want... Do we want Surfetched or do we want Draco's ult? Hmm... What am I going to max? Probably Blastoise. So let's go this and let's go this. Yeah, let's go that and that. Let's try it. Let's try it. Skipper, how are you doing? This is a good name. How are you both doing? Hope you're both well. Hope you had a good day. Ready for some games tonight. If you've got rental teams, like I'll say to everyone, chuck them over and we will feature them this evening. Going to have a, a good old slog it out on rental teams tonight and uh, you guys can help me get back to master ball ranked here because the season's reset we're in a new we're in a new month so the the rankings have reset i'm hoping what we can do here is um oh we can fake something out we could just go uh is it a waste to go i mean we could fake out and just what's not gonna max though i don't think the I think the Inteleon Max is here. That's the thing. I don't know if we'll be able to get our Trick Room off. That's the problem. Hmm. Let's fake up Barrascuda and go for a Trick Room. I'm hoping we can get the Trick Room off. If we can, it'll be amazing. Oh, it might happen. It might happen. <laughs> Zay, how are you doing? Come in at the most exciting moment of this all for me. Um, Unique Banana. I left my last class early to watch you. Dude. I hope you're not missing anything too important, but I appreciate it. And I hope we'll make it worthwhile for you tonight. And with players like this, I guarantee it's going to be a lot of fun tonight. Uh, remember that there is, uh, you can cash in some of those goodies as well tonight. Um, I think what we could do is just water spout and gig. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's start this. Let's start the hydro cannoning. Let's get this weakness policy procs. Let's do this. Will, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Only team I have in game is the team I used in Players Cup. <laughs> Dude, it's not going to work tonight. It's not going to work. What about your Inteleon team? I saw a tweet. I didn't really get a chance to read it today. It flashed by and then something came up, so I had to put my phone down. But something about a, a team that Baz is using. Is that your team or is it not? I don't know. Okay, so there's the Giga Drain. There's the weakness policy. Computer kids, how are you doing? Hope you guys are all well. Hope you've had a great day and are looking forward to the weekend. And uh, we will say bye bye to Mr. Kukadal before he can do too much damage to us. Okay. Well, that's worn down. Ready to go. Let's see if Blastoise can do this. Flip turn. Okay. Well, I do like this move. I do like that move. It's a cool move. Oh, you can play that team. It's on my other card. I'll shoot the card. Nice. I built the team and Baz made a few tweaks. Nice. Okay, dude. That sounds good. That sounds great. Sounds great. Okay. Well, we got one team. We got one team tonight. Yeah. There's Will saying, look at Will. He's like, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this for Baz. Barry. Barry Anderson only team. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, Will. I'm joking. Um. Okay. Well... I think we could start Giga Draining the Inteleon for sure if we want, or we could help in hand. I think we'll probably be able to take the Duraludon with a Max Hailstorm, to be honest. Uh, Inteleon's probably gonna max. Maybe Duraludon though. It probably is a Duraludon. There's a Beast Ball coming out. Do we get Max Duraludon? If not, if it's Assault Vest. Do we? 
Um, gonna end a little legend tournament with Marsh Shadow Swagger Grimmsnarl. That's a nice idea, dude. Marsh Shadow is a very cool Pokemon. I do like it. It's definitely on that top tier list of uh, the the Pokemon that are allowed. Comfy's so good. I do love Comfy. Such a cool Pokemon. But such a cool design as well. Right, let's see. Can we do this? If we get rid of this thing, it's going to be a very quick game for us. Ooh, nah, I'd say it's, a, I'd say it's a salt vest. But the residual damage with the hail and things will start stacking up. They're going to probably max lightning us. Yeah. Okay. I think their big thing is to try and get rid of our... Uh, comfy, really. It would make more sense to do that. But we'll see what happens this next turn. Snipe shot. I don't know if we're going to be able to take this. But it would allow us to get... Oh, we can take that like a champ. Okay. Comfy is way stronger than what I thought it was. Um, okay, everything taking a bit of residual damage. Johnny, can't stay today, Lee. Stuff came up and I have a great stream, mate. Thanks so much for hopping by and, and wishing us all the best, Johnny. Have a great evening, whatever you're up to, mate. I hope you have a fantastic time. Um, Could we max strike on our last turn just to lower the speed? So when the trick room ends, what have we got in the back? got no what have we got in the back that's what we need to discover we've got so fetched hmm I don't think we're gonna be out speeding anything still um it might be worth it might be worth just going for it anyway um and go for yeah we'll go for yeah max strike is good and we'll go for a helping hand there and that Hey Ken, Ken, Ken's how are you doing mate? And Quiver, Quiver Dancer, thank you so much for the follow. I'm doing good dude, I'm doing really good, thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well mate, I hope you're doing well. Well we're just kicking off dude, so hopefully we can open with a win, that would be very good for us, if we can. Um, I think the Duraludon's gonna steel spike, uh, Comfy. This is our last turn of our max with Blastoise, but we have, okay, they're not, they're not getting rid of the, uh, they're not getting rid of the Comfy. Going after the Blastoise. Blastoise has done its work. Kessel76, thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with us all, friends. Um, I'm not crafty. Lee, first off, thanks for the advice on Discord. I got a shiny G-Max Alchemy. Nice, dude. That is so cool. It's one of the nicer G-Max shinies as well. So I'm really pleased that worked out for you, dude. And anytime, no problem. Um, always happy to help. All right. What do we do? I think, well, we can get rid. Let's, let's bring in... Let's bring in Sir Fetch to see what you can do. I mean, we could bait. Um, okay. What are we? What are we even in Trick Room? I need to be pinned. We are. We are in Trick Room. Okay. We've we've locked this because they have to protect here. If they don't, then they're done, and we'll just Giga Drain, and that will that will do it. Sir Fetch is here. Has arrived. Uh, guess I'll. Uh, and trying to make a size spam team with Alakazam. Any suggestions? Okay, for which series, dude? Uh, that would make a lot of difference. If we're going for Series 7, there's a lot more options there. If we're doing it in um, Series 6, obviously we're a little bit more restricted because we've got the band Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, just hit us up with which format and then we can, we can kind of go from there. Oh, the Max Strike has totally screwed us. Oh. Okay, that's not good. That really isn't good. But, mm, we might be alright. we got two Pokemon left to do some stuff with, so it's okay. Uh, first time we reached top 100 on the ladder. Dude, I am surprised by that. I am very surprised by that. Um, honestly, that surprises me. Massively, actually. Um, you should be in top 100 all all the time. Oh man, Barascuda is still kicking around. Ah, forgot about Barascuda. Okay. Hmm. Duraladon now gonna start chucking out okay well hopefully a giga drain can a giga drain i don't know if a giga drain is going to be enough to get our scooter or do we just do we just dazzle i think uh yeah we'll just dazzle and we'll go giga drain i can't afford to go trick room i can't believe i've let this slip it's all right it's all right i think mm, do we get the bar i'm not sure if we get the bar scooter you know maybe would have been better protecting hat but then if we protect Hat and then they just double into Comfy anyway, then we're left. That's oh, very close. Very close. 
Flip turn, is that all we're doing? Okay, that's fine. Flash cannon into Comfy. And we got the Bibiri Berry, so we're doing good. I'm not crafty. Anyone know how to pass first impression off of my Axew onto my 6 IV Haxorus? So they both have to be uh, the same species. So it would have to be Haxorus passing it to Haxorus or Axew passing it to Axew. So what I'd suggest is level up your Axew to evolve it into Haxorus. Very good game to our first opponent today. And then put them in the daycare center and the move will transfer across like magic. But they have to be the same Pokemon like type that you know so the the same evolution type uh Axew can't pass it to Haxorus and vice versa they have to be the same okay we've got Urshifu, Comfy, Talonflame, Amoongus, Toxtricity and Dracovish hmm well 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 can we I think we can I think we can go Blastoise again you have to be very careful around the Amoongus though the Amoongus worries me slightly a lot actually we can bring a uh, hat though so we don't need to be mm, and probably hmm so fetched break result hold on manitan i think because it's scarfed and i feel like the other three can deal with everything we'll go down manitan we'll bring that to a game And Bebum, I'm literally only playing Breath of the Wild and Mario 3D Collection until Chandra drops. <laughs> and Fortmon, already built a, t a built a broken as team to show the world uh, the potential of Kaboot Ops. Tundra is going to be crazy. Dude, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the Kaboot Ops. I know you've mentioned it before, but yes. The boot ops. All the fossils are back as well in Tundra, which is it kind of gets overlooked a little bit. We're gonna have Aerodactyl, we're gonna have all the fossils, which is really exciting because some of those fossil Pokemon extremely good. Okay, so um the toxicity is a little bit of a pain for both Blastoise and Comfy. Um hmm. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a trick room up here because I think we're gonna get taunted. Um but do they max turn one? That's the thing. I don't know if they do. We could try. We could try. I feel like we might get caught out a little bit though. Okay. Well, let's go for it. Let's just fake out. Let's hope we don't see any max. No maxing. It's definitely not what we want to see. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> what is this? How are we getting away with this? How are we getting away with this? This is... Like the, the, the best case scenario every time. I love this. <laughs> Ababak, how are you doing? I hope you're well. They gave Aerodactyl Dragon Dance. No way. Aerodactyl gets Dragon Dance? That's nuts. Pika Trainer, how are you doing? Is there a way to request rental teams? Uh, if uh, for you to if you want me to play your rental team, if you've got one, if that's what you're suggesting, just post it in the chat right now and I will grab it and uh, we'll play that tonight. Um, if you're referring to any of the teams that we're featuring, if you want the rental teams, then I can show you those as well. So uh, just whichever, whichever way works best for you. Okay, so we are going to max Blastoise and go after the Toxicity here because we need to get rid of it. Otherwise, it's going to cause us all sorts of problems. Awesome. Get the code. That sounds great. So thank you very much as well for providing them. And thanks to anyone that provides a rental team for tonight. It's always great playing your teams. And Larot93. Hope you're doing great. I am doing great, my friend. Hope you're doing well as well. Uh, thanks for the stream. Here's a Covenant weakness policy team. I'd love if you could take a spin. I would actually love to do that. So thank you so much. We've got our first one. So that's great. Oh no. Toxtricity is just G-maxed. This is not going as planned. Okay, well, we should hopefully be able to take an attack from Toxicity, I'm hoping. I mean, the Hydro Cannon is going to do a bunch of damage to it. I don't know if it's going to be enough to knock it out. I really don't, but Toxicity isn't the most bulky of Pokemons. So, we might be able to take it down. If we take it down now, we either see one of two things. A Rage Quit or a battle cancel. We'll see. We'll soon find out. But if we don't take it down, we're in trouble. 
What? No way. It's actually slower than Blastoise? Okay. That's bad. It's really bad. Okay, that's really bad. Okay, now we're both... Okay, Blastoise is poisoned. Comfy's paralyzed. I thought Blastoise would be minimum speed. I wasn't prepared for this. Pika Trainer. Awesome. Basically, my IC team I built around Pichu. Nice. Okay, this sounds cool. Okay, thank you so much, friends. Is that the Pichu team? The Pichu team. I feel like I need to be aware of this Pichu team. This sounds a lot of fun. Thank you so much for that. I look forward to it. So after this, I'll plug in all of the rental teams that we've got so far, and then we'll jump on with them. i got a very special team as well. I'm going to wait for Nappy, because Nappy normally hops on midstream when we're streaming. So he's passed us. At, um, he has passed us. We are in Trick Room. I just need to make 100% sure that we are in Trick Room. We are in Trick Room. Okay. And this Urshifu is probably the dark fighting type one. I'm going to, um, I'm going to assume it is. I need to go Y. Check you out. Yes, it's got Sucker Punch. Hmm. Okay. So we need to go off. Um, Actually, yeah, we Floral Healing at Blastoise, and then we go after the Urshifu. Because Floral Healing will go before the Sucker Punch. So, we should be alright. Should be alright. There we go. Okay, that's fine. I just realised we don't have Draining Kiss, and then I had this little panic on there, and I was like, oh no. Okay, so there's a the Sucker Punch. Yep. Okay, so the Floral Healing allows us to take that pretty comfortably. We are going to be able to get rid of the Urshifu. Yep. Okay. I think it was banded as well. Okay, so that's two down. We've got another Brave Bird coming out from this Talon. It's going after that Comfy still. Okay. Well, this is alright. Because another couple of those and some Brave Bird recoil will put that down to range. So we've got one Pokemon to deal with. No G Max left. Unique Banana with the team as well. This is a Trick Room team. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay. It's Mr. Fish coming in. Mr. Fish is about to eat fat old Max Hailstorm. And then the Hail, the residual damage, should take down Blam Basad. Basad? Blam Basad. And Pika Trainer, I went 10-6 in it with the IC, but I had a tug kiss over Porygon Z. I didn't feel like playing all 45 games. Yeah, don't blame me, dude. It's such a slog sometimes, isn't it? Look forward to seeing the team and playing it, though. So thank you so much. Snowman, one point. We've got another team. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Right. This is great. Thank you so much, friends, for all these teams. Working out, It's working out perfectly this evening. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to playing all of these. This team that I'm playing now, I will give you the rental for because it's um, is it uh, Lon Lonfo? I think is his username. Hopefully that's not coming up on the screen. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, um, at Lonfop. Lonfop. I don't know what his actual real name is, but he's a Japanese player. It popped up on my timeline earlier with this team, and I was like, oh, I need to play this team. This team looks. This team looks awesome. Um, so, did we not actually manage to take down the, um, the Dracovish? We didn't. Wow. I'm surprised that hung on. Okay, so, we're in a decent spot now. We're still in Trick Room, I think the last turn, so we can bring in... Are we in the last turn, Trick Room? Even if not, I mean, Comfy's going to be able to deal with Mr. Fish. With a Giga Drain. And then, let's just double check. Yeah, last turn. So that's good. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll go for a Giga Drain and a Dazzling Gleam. And that should take us to two wins to kick us off with. It's a copycat Trick Room team, Unique Banana. That sounds cool. I like the copycat stuff. It's always good. Um, there's something I've brought. Like, that just reminds me. Copycat, there's a... Oh, wow. It's got Protect as well. Huh. Okay. Um... Yeah, there's a team that I, I saw a while ago with Octavish and uh, Azumarill. And Azumarill copycatting the um, 
the vicious rend it was nasty it was nasty yeah and I, ever since i saw it, i was like i need to try and get that combo working in a team but i've just never got around to it like the list with things to try in series six is crazy like i know a lot of people say it's the same sort of thing and like top tier teams are kind of the same cause and stuff like that but there is still a lot of scope to try different pokemon out you know um, and a lot of different strategies are way more viable because you haven't got those top tier kind of like suppress and everything else like they normally do. Um, so we'll end this one up. Here we go. Uh, Ababak, I've been running into a lot of Scoff Chandelier uh, to one shot my Durant. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Like Scoff Shandy is really, really good. It's probably one of the best counters to Durant, honestly. When I was theorizing, the very start of the series as like like scarf shandy kind of comes down as one of the best pokemon in general to that because you're seeing a lot of durant especially paired with gothitelle and you've got that option to switch shandy out because of its ghost type and as well so it gives you a lot of flexibility you can kind of optionally imprison trick room if you want so it, it plays a lot of like roles in one pokemon so it can do a lot of things um yeah choice bandit okay so